What's up guys, it's Ori Slapped and um, I'm here with a new video requested by uh, Jacob is YouTube. It's a video of the spawn that he made. So you can see it's a big castle. Pretty cool design. They have these two uh, two statues in the front with guys holding poles or something. Um, I just wanted to show this real quick. So, one of the admins placed a camera down and it caused anybody to get within 30 blocks of the camera to uh, disconnect from the server. So, the way that we had to get rid of it was someone like had to drop a bunch of TNT on it so they used fill command and they put a bunch of TNT and lit it <laughs> and because the camera is invisible you can't see it only the like for some reason only the owner can see the camera I don't know why it's actually like uh, I guess it's considered a mod and it has four hearts so we were they, we were just blowing up the entire place looking for this camera so that's why <laughs> this whole place looks wrecked. Um, apparently the camera was placed somewhere over here close to the castle walls and they were blowing up the TNT like everywhere around it looking for it but they were trying to stay away from the castle walls. We ended up having to fix the castle because to get the camera we had to blow up pretty much the wall right there. But that's why the sign here says the most deadly mob in Minecraft the camera <laughs> just because it instantly logs you out. So, um, yeah, this is spawn. Um, I haven't seen this before. It looks like a jail or something. I don't know, maybe a jail or like a pig pen. I don't know what that is. But, uh, one thing that's new to the server is because this is Minecraft Pocket, there's a lot of items that you can't get in game yet. So, People voted in uh, economy, so like uh, shops for different things that you can't get yet. So you can actually go and you can sell items for for money, and then you can buy stuff. Like, and there's some pretty cool things that you could buy in here. Like for ten thousand, you could get obsidian. So basically, to use it, let's see, I don't have that much coins, so. Let's buy I don't think I have a thousand. So to buy something yeah, I don't have that much. To buy something you would click on it and then it would say, uh if you're sure you want to buy it well if you have enough money. Let's go to one where I have enough money. So let's see, um let's just buy some Oh shit. Let's buy some sand, I guess. Oh wait, maybe you can buy arrows. Okay, so if we want to buy arrows, we click it once. And I do not have enough money for arrows. Okay, let's buy some stone. Click it once. Are you sure you want to buy stone? Tap again to confirm. So you click it again. I think I waited too long. So yeah, just double click it. And then you'll have some stone in your inventory. So that's pretty cool because it's a little frustrating when most of the items in game you can't get so it's still it's not a faction server I mean that plugin is used by a lot of faction servers but you kinda need it just to get certain items you know so it's kind of useful and it's actually uh, help the server a lot there's actually been double amount the double the amount of activity as there was before on the server so then we have that which is a cool new addition um there's been people complaining about it hey like saying this isn't the real 2v2t and i'm just gonna say it's not the real 2v2t it's on pocket edition and pocket edition is definitely not the same as real servers there's a lot of stuff that's missing from pocket edition and I think that this is a good way to solve the problems of having um, all the items missing, you know. So 
this is basically the only way to get the items unless you have creative. So if someone's going to complain about that, like we don't want to hear it. Um, we're just making the server better for everyone to play on. Then um, you can see here, we have all these stands and they're actually named after players who have played on the server since like the very beginning. So these are like the oldest players or players that have done a lot for the community of this server. So we got Alicia's Wolf Shop. The story behind that was uh, Alicia asked for a pet dog. So one of the admins uh, spawned in probably like a hundred dogs or something for her in her room and it was causing her to lag so she killed them all so we call her the wolf killer but uh yeah poor dogs that was terrible um and right here we got jacob is youtube's purple emporium i don't i don't know why he has a purple emporium but that's pretty cool Here's Zed Storm's uh, equipment. He's got one of the finest umbrellas. So, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, we got our nether portal back here that you could hop into. And um, when you hop into a nether portal, you get taken to a spot in the nether. Oh shit, sometimes this happens and you have to restart. Okay, I had to log back in real quick. Um, whenever you log out and log back in, you end up in spawn. I'm sure you've noticed that, and a lot of people want to know why that is. That's actually because when we first started the server, anyone who had a base or made bases were pretty much getting their cords leaked because people would log on to their account and they could see the cords uh, wherever that person was standing. So... Ultimately, they would get any base cords they wanted through that way. And people's places were just getting wrecked. Like, you'd make a base and literally one, two days, the base would be griefed already. So that's just a way to combat griefing and uh, people getting base cords. But uh, we have home teleport. So if you click home, you can teleport to home. To set your home, you put set home. So I'm not going to do it. But yeah, that's the way to do that. And then this is actually my shop right here. You got Roy's Roadhouse with the cakes and the um, anvils. And then you got Red Mist's Redstones and L's Enchanting Tables. So yeah, and then um, they worked on this fountain, which is a pretty nice addition. It just made the inside look a little, little less plain. And I think the, the dirt patches on the floor, I think it makes like a bird with it, or like a, it's like a certain design or something. I think if, if there wasn't any people here or any cows, you would see a design, but I don't know. I think that's that's how it was made to be. But then you got like little things like this where you could go to the top of the watchtower and look out on the, all the destruction that we we made while trying to break the camera. Um, yeah, there's actually, what the heck? What is that? Someone place that down. There's actually a problem right now where the underside of spawn, it's not completely filled in and animals are, are cows and zombies are spawning down there. Uh, the, only, the only things that spawn on this server right now are cows and zombies. I guess that's the way that Minecraft servers work. But they're all dying down here and they're dropping XP and if when you log on the server sometimes you could see it like the whole underside of this place is just like filled with uh filled with a bunch of xp 
big old XP orbs. And it kind of makes the game lag sometimes because there's so much of it. I don't even think you could pick it up. I think it's just like kind of there. I don't know. But we'll take care of that soon. Um, spawn is protected so nobody can grief it. But yeah, I I think that spawn's pretty cool. Um, they actually... Jacob wants to know if like anybody has any ideas or anything to make spawn cooler. He wants to know your opinions on it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, do you have any other ideas? Uh, I actually like the idea of setting two separate homes. So you could have a base home and then you could have a home where uh, you can just teleport to before you log out so people can't log in and see your cords. Yeah, as you can see, there's there's spawns under spawn. But, um, yeah, that way you wouldn't have to pop up at spawn uh, all the time. But I think since we have this wall with the shops on it now, I think that it's pretty good that you spawn in at spawn, you know. So if you need something, you just log out and you log back in and you're able to buy it. Um, but before, without it, see, like, you can buy bones. Before you couldn't get bones, um, arrows before you couldn't get arrows, and then you got stuff like spider webs or whatever, or string, so you wouldn't have, you wouldn't be able to get bows before, so this edition actually is supposed to, st supposed to be just for the players, um, I know it's not completely like 2B2T, but this is a pocket edition server, so if you're going to complain about it, just go complain somewhere else, we don't want to hear it. Uh, alright guys, I think that's all I really got for today. Um, let me know what you think about the castle, and, uh, go check out Jacob's channel. I think it's just Jacob is YouTube. I don't know his channel name, but, um, I think that's it. But yeah, let us know what you think, and give, give Jacob's videos a big like, because he worked hard on Spawn, and, uh, that's all I got for you today, guys. Bye.